I have just landed at New Orleans International Airport on a Frontier Airbus A321 from Orlando. My next flight to St. Louis on a Southwest 737 MAX 8 is currently boarding, and there's a good chance I'll miss my connection. Do you think I'll make it? Let's find out, everybody. So, today we have part two of Will I Make My Connection at New Orleans International Airport? I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video, and without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Definitely feel free to check out the previous trip ports and part one of Will I Make My Connection at Orlando International Airport. So you can get caught up the speed of where we are in this video series but nevertheless for everybody that's already caught the speed let's just go ahead and get started so you'll probably remember at the end of the first part of will i make my connection series i was talking already about this frontier flight and the implications of that and then obviously the next uh flights which were on southwest so here's what happened guys so we ended up getting on that frontier flight and feel free to check out that trip port for kind of the full synopsis of frontier and obviously the timing of all this but nevertheless we were coming into new orleans and as i said in that the end of the first part i said it was just going to be nice to lay back not worry about it frontier doesn't have wi-fi of course so there's no tracking for me to do on the southwest flight it was going to be what it was going to be so i thought that it would still be better to get out of florida at least and at least one step closer to new orleans so that is exactly what we did here in uh, on this frontier flight so here we come rolling in and i believe we rolled in at like 7 37 p.m or somewhere around there i'll be sure to get the full time there but nevertheless a beautiful sunset as we rolled in it was an awesome landing really great flight despite it being three and a half hours late but here's what ended up happening guys so uh, I immediately load up my phone on the Southwest app because I want to know the status of the flight, of course, whether I was going to have any shot of making it. And luckily, just completely lucked out that this Southwest flight, I believe, got delayed by an additional 15 minutes or so. I think it went from like 7.39 to 7.53 p.m. So I knew that there was a shot because typically these flights uh, don't end up, they close at that time, if that makes sense. They don't like actually push back and take off at the estimated time that the app says. So I knew that I had a decent chance here of making this flight at this point. So we end up taxiing into the gate and I see the, belo the beloved Southwest 737 MAX 8 going to St. Louis there at the far corner gate. So that ends up taking us into our gate, which is gate Alpha 4. So we had to go from Alpha 4. I believe we went to B2. I could be wrong on the number, but nevertheless, you'll see here on the map and also a visual description here of, or illusion, whatever you want to call it, visual graph would be the better word, of how far we had to go between gates. And it was a very manageable distance and I already had it memorized by the time I la landed. So I knew exactly where I needed the walk what turns i need to take well it didn't turn into a walk obviously you'll see that here in a moment but where i needed to go exactly so that i didn't make any wrong moves so that is exactly what we did. So we pulled into the gate and this is exactly where we're picking up from that Frontier trip port. So again, definitely check out the first part of this series and that Frontier trip port if you need to get caught up to speed. So this all makes sense. But nevertheless, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the clip of me attempting to run to the gate. So I really hope all of you are excited for this. I believe the running took less than 120 seconds or somewhere right around there. So this is gonna be crazy. Can we go make this Southwest flight? It's still at the gate. The, the jet bridge is still attached. Let's go find out everybody. Alrighty guys, so I did cut off the clip right there because I wanted to have my boarding pass ready in case that they were still boarding and drum roll, please. Did I make my connection? 
Yes, I did. They had three people left in the C group that were boarding and I just completely lucked out as I was running into the gate there. That was so crazy to see. But again, three people left in line, C1 through 30. I knew that I just completely lucked out there because who knows how long they were gonna keep that door open for since we were already delayed a substantial amount of time, over an hour at this point. So I was super lucky to be able to make it at this point in the process and I was just like, thank goodness. So it really worked out and it's just crazy to think that there was only three people left between that plane leaving and me getting on there as well so just absolutely surreal i wish i had some better footage here but i was pretty much uh, about the faint so here's a picture of course of the plane at the gate and then i have the clip boarding the bridge here but man that was absolutely crazy so I'm just super fortunate to be able to make this connection and what a talent show it was to be able to lock this in so man it's just i don't even know like how to really encapsulate how cool it was to somehow pull this off because it was much a uh, huge uh, stress relief for multiple reasons. Uh, what really stands out here is that obviously we were already onto the Southwest connecting flight. So I'd much rather get stuck in St. Louis since I would only be out the hotel since it was a weather delay on the Southwest flight to my knowledge, rather than the flight as well, because that's what was going to happen if I did miss the Southwest flight. So was super, super happy about this. And of course I wouldn't have been able to cancel the Southwest flight because there was really no other good option besides trying to make this flight. And that's exactly what we did. So just pull it it off by a matter of minutes so glad that uh if you remember in the frontier trip port we were supposed to sit on the tarmac for an additional 10 minutes due to congestion but that only was two minutes and that eight minutes or three minutes whatever it was that eight seven or eight minutes i think made the difference on making this southwest flight so again completely lucked out that we were able to get off the ground and huge stress relief as we'd be on to st louis so so awesome i was the last person to board the plane and somehow i don't know how I had a $20 bill ready to, for somebody to give up their window seat because I really did not want it to end right there, but somehow, uh, 24F was available and I don't know how this happened. I don't know how this seat somehow just is sitting there waiting for me. It obviously was meant to be, but that was just so darn awesome. So I was able to slide in the 24F, which was the last seat available on the plane as this was a fully sold out flight on this Monday evening. And we were off to St. Louis. So just so fantastic to see this right here. This was uh, a complete adrenaline rush. There was no other way to say it. Uh, I just got so lucky, um, you know, obviously we had so many setbacks in Orlando and so many uh, various delays and the two holdings. So all of this, uh, you know, just somehow was able to pull it off. And we got super lucky that the Chicago Midway inbound flight for Southwest uh, got another 15 minutes delayed because that 15 minutes, along with the eight minutes that we saved in Orlando that we were supposed to send sitting there, just both those came together, perfect timing, and somehow was able to make this flight despite obviously all these circumstances working out of my favor. So man, super fortunate. I just can't describe how i uh, just what a blessing it was to be able to do this and yeah this was certainly the most adrenaline adrenaline rush excuse me because the next one's going to be extremely tight as well but we're going to have to get to st louis before we figure all that out because obviously we're now delayed and that layover from st louis to tulsa or sorry new orleans st louis tulsa the st louis layover was an hour i believe on the dot or an hour and 10. regardless though it's going to be extremely tight but we are under southwest's umbrella at this point so that certainly helps. So it's time to get on to uh, St. Louis rather. And I have that trip report coming out very soon. So I really hope all of you are excited for this. Uh, but nevertheless, just what a sequence of events. Super fortunate. No, uh, just as fortunate to get the window relative to making the flight. I mean, both those were completely unprobable and somehow was able to pull off both of them. So feeling very fortunate right now in the second part of will I make my connection? Yes, I did. And it was so fantastic. Uh, what an adrenaline rush for sure. And I'm super glad that I was able to lock this one in and just overall fantastic effort and i'm really looking forward to the future here and obviously what's to come in this series and we got to go get on that southwest max 8 first and see what happens and what we can do so i really hope each and every one of you are looking forward to that it's going to be absolutely awesome and the adrenaline rush continues here in the series of will i make my connection uh part three we will see if we make it or not but we have made it to part three so that's absolutely awesome but nevertheless we'll have that southwest max trip report first and then we'll take it from there everybody so i really hope all of you enjoyed today's video thank you all so much for watching looking forward to the future here i really hope each and every one of you are as well but nevertheless that'll do it for today's video everybody thank you all so much for watching i want to thank each and every one of you for watching my name is Redder of aviation take these everybody stay safe test process do you love and love you do my name is Redder of aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as Redder of aviation is signing off